Welcome to the enigmatic world of a 1945 film that delves into the complexities of human nature against a noir backdrop. Scarlet Street brings together a compelling narrative and gripping performances, creating a thought-provoking cinematic experience. Directed by Fritz Lang, this movie navigates the tale of a middle-aged man drawn into a web of deception and moral ambiguity, compelling viewers to ponder the intricacies of desire and consequence. As you explore this cinematic gem, consider moments that linger in your memory. Perhaps a particular scene struck a chord or a character resonated deeply. Which portrayal stood out as your favorite amidst the entangled lives depicted on screen? We're curious about your personal connection to this film. Do you have a cherished memory or a meaningful experience tied to Scarlet Street? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear your unique perspectives. So, let's journey into the intriguing narrative and characters of Scarlet Street, exploring the layers of its storytelling and the impact it continues to have on audiences decades after its release. Scarlet Street, a film from 1945, has gained notable acclaim over time. Notably, it boasts a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes based on 17 critic reviews. This marks a significant achievement for the movie, showcasing its critical reception. Additionally, it holds a place in the Library of Congress motion picture, broadcasting, and recorded sound collection, further solidifying its cultural significance. However, the film's history took an unexpected turn due to a copyright mishap. The failure to renew its copyright led Scarlet Street into the public domain. Consequently, numerous versions of the film emerged in the market. Sadly, these versions often suffered from severe edits or poor quality, stemming from second or third generation copies. This situation impacted the accessibility and preservation of the original work. Despite these challenges, Scarlet Street's critical acclaim and inclusion in the Library of Congress stand as testament to its lasting impact on cinema. Edward G. Robinson, who played a character in the film, had a genuine passion for art, much like his role. In the movie, he expresses a desire to own a Cezanne painting, a sentiment mirrored in real life as Robinson was an avid art collector. Interestingly, the value of the Cezanne painting discussed in the film was considerable, with today's equivalent reaching over $800,000. This underscores the significance of fine art and its worth over time. The appreciation for art shown by Robinson's character reflects his personal passion and expertise, adding depth to his portrayal in the movie. The film's connection to the world of art, as seen through Robinson's character, offers a unique angle to explore the intersection of cinema and the art world. Dan Duria, known for his portrayal of a lazy freeloader in the film, shared a common trait with his co-star Edward G. Robinson. They both had diverse backgrounds before entering Hollywood. Duria initially worked in advertising, while Robinson, with plans of becoming a criminal attorney, ultimately pursued acting. This fascinating parallel between the actors' prior experiences adds depth to their performances in the movie. The varied paths they took before arriving on the screen shed light on their versatility as actors, contributing to the film's intriguing dynamics. The intricate blend of personal history and on-screen personas provides a compelling angle to explore the depth of their characters in the film. Twelve paintings created specifically for the film by John Decker debuted at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City in March of 1946. These artworks added an extra layer of depth to the movie, showcasing a visual extension of the story's themes and characters. John Decker's contribution offered audiences a unique glimpse into the artistic interpretation of Scarlet Street's narrative, bringing the essence of the film beyond the screen and into a respected art institution. The display of these paintings not only highlighted the creative collaboration within the movie, but also emphasized the film's impact beyond the realm of cinema. Their exhibition served as a testament to the movie's artistic significance and its ability to transcend the confines of traditional storytelling mediums. The 1945 movie Scarlet Street faced significant hurdles upon its release. Local censor boards in New York, Milwaukee, and Atlanta outright banned the film, citing reasons of being licentious, profane, obscure, and contrary to the good order of the community. 
This controversy stirred debate and drew attention, making it a hot topic of discussion among audiences. Despite the movie's subsequent acclaim, this initial reaction marked a turbulent beginning for the film, sparking debates around censorship and artistic expression. The movie subtly incorporated product placement techniques before the concept was common. For instance, beer bottles in a conversation scene with Adele's husband revealed the brand as Schlitz, a brewery founded in Milwaukee in 1849. The deliberate obscuring of brand names, although a norm of that era to prevent legal complications, inadvertently highlighted an early form of product placement strategy. This tactic, decades ahead of its time, hinted at the brewing evolution of advertising within the film industry. Moreover, the film featured a 1935 Packard Super 8 Sport Feed-In, a detail that aficionados of classic cars would find intriguing. In the present day, such cars fetch hefty prices at auctions, often reaching six figures. This inclusion of a specific vintage car added a layer of authenticity to the setting and characters, showcasing attention to detail in the production. These lesser-known details about Scarlet Street its censorship controversy, early hints of product placement, and inclusion of a vintage care offer a unique perspective on the film, demonstrating the intricacies beyond its storyline and performances. Director Fritz Lang and three key stars, Edward G. Robinson, Joan Bennett, and Dan Duria, collaborated on a film called The Woman in the Window, sharing thematic similarities with our 1945 movie. Notably, Scarlet Street was inspired by Renoir's La Chienne, forming one of two remakes Fritz Lang made based on Renoir's works. While Lang cherished Scarlet Street among his own films, Renoir notably disliked both adaptations. This interconnectedness between directors and actors across similar themed movies offers a fascinating lens to explore the creative landscape of these interconnected cinematic works. The clash of titans, egos collide among Scarlet Street's cast on the set of the iconic film. Clashes between strong personalities brewed a storm. Behind the scenes, the clash of titans among the cast members created power struggles and conflicts that often overshadowed the glamour of the production. Among the notable clashes, tensions between two lead actors, Edward G. Robinson and Dan Duria, simmered beneath the surface. Both possessed strong personalities that collided, leading to occasional friction during filming. Their different approaches to acting and divergent views often sparked heated debates, causing disruptions during crucial scenes. Joan Bennett, too, found herself at odds with Robinson at certain points, primarily due to creative differences. Their conflicting opinions on character portrayals occasionally disrupted the collaborative flow of the filming process. Despite these clashes, the cast members, professionals to the core, managed to maintain their on-screen chemistry, concealing the undercurrents of discord. Their commitment to the craft overshadowed personal differences, allowing the film to flourish despite the behind-the-scenes clashes. In the world of cinema, where egos clash, Scarlet Street stands as a testament to the professionalism of its cast, who navigated personal differences to deliver an enduring masterpiece. As we bid adieu to this cinematic masterpiece, let its allure linger in the corridors of your mind. Delve into the recesses of your thoughts, where the profound narrative and evocative characters of the film, crafted with unparalleled finesse, have carved a niche. Perhaps it's a scene that etched itself into your memory or a character whose complexities resonated deeply within you. Whatever the facet, Scarlet Street's tapestry invites personal interpretation, weaving its story into the fabric of your own experiences. Embrace this moment to share your reflections, your musings, or your cherished reminiscences of this timeless gem. Your perspective adds hues to the vibrant spectrum of interpretations surrounding this cinematic treasure trove. The beauty lies not only in the frames that unfold on screen, but also in the diverse perceptions and sentiments it stirs within each viewer. Thank you for traversing through this cinematic exploration, for allowing the nuances of Scarlet Street to intertwine with your thoughts and emotions. Your engagement enriches the cinematic discourse, making this journey all the more fulfilling.